What's up everybody? Here's uh, another video I just wanted to show you really quickly on how to cheat at The Walking Dead during raids. Now, raids aren't too terribly complicated, it's just that many people don't understand exactly how they work. So, just wanted to break it down for you guys real quick here. This will be a short video. So I've been getting a lot of questions as to why my record's so good for my raids. And uh, my answer to that is you should never lose a raid. Uh, my losses are only from people attacking me when I log off the game. So we'll just, uh, I'll show you a little bit about my uh, way to do this. So with, uh, with these raids, basically you want to figure out what you need the most. So if you look up at the top of my screen here, I have 201,000 food and uh, 99,000 uh, materials. So my food's almost maxed out. I want to get more material. So I'm going to use that um, criteria to find my raids. So we're just going to go to find opponent. And what we're looking at is the victory rewards. So typically most people just look at the level of the character and they want to pick uh, a low level character that they can beat easily or whatever. Um, we, wa we want to do that, but we also want to pick the food. So we're just going to cycle through these and we're going to look out, look for someone that has the max that we could receive. Uh, okay, so here's one with 7,700 materials and this person's a level 16. So typically we would pick somewhere around 10 to 15 in terms of level and then uh, max material because that's what we're looking for for this time so we're gonna hit attack and I'll show you kind of how to do this now I just leveled up my character so these guys are actually pretty low but we'll give it a try I'll show you here so the main key to cheating at this is to cycle through all of your opponents and you can see the arrows flashing on the bottom of the screen that's the uh, player on your team that's ideal to attack that opponent so as you can see, if I click this guy here, I have two of my teammates, they both have arrows. So what that tells me is, I'm gonna attack that guy with both of them. And you can see his health is already almost gone. So what I'm gonna do is figure out, okay, so I just clicked on all four other opponents. You can see Glenn has arrows and Amy has arrows. Carter doesn't have any arrows. So I'm gonna attack this guy with Carter and I was hoping to take him out with Carter, but that's okay, we'll just use Amy here. Okay, so now we'll just move on to the next person. So with this strat, you'll never lose. And some call it cheating, but uh, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily call it cheating, it's just strategy. So, all right, what we wanna do is whittle their team down to the lowest number of players, so that way we have less attacks coming at us each turn. So, that's all there is to it. And we'll let this play out real quick. You see Amy's almost dead. So what we'll do is we will, um, let's just use her attack before she dies off here. Okay. All right, so now it's two on five. Now it's two on four and we got lucky there. They didn't go after Amy. And she's actually uh, ideal for this opponent, so that's gonna help us out a lot. Now we'll just automate the rest of this. So now it's three on one. And that's how, that's the strategy you just have to use and you'll never lose, ever. So, and you could see I had pretty low level characters. So once I uh, get those back up, it shouldn't be that big of a deal, but so I just took in 7,700 materials uh, food I'm not worried about. I'm maxed out on food, so um, this is the quickest way to get ahead in raids and you'll never lose. So I've been getting a lot of questions as to how, how come my record's always so good and I just wanted to share that with you guys. So, All right, now um, that's it. This is a little bit of about my layout of my base here. So my town hall is level six and I'm almost maxed out here, so we'll be moving up soon. And uh, I'm just working on trying to get uh, special characters and all that stuff. So uh, any uh, questions, please comment, rate, subscribe. And I'll be providing some more tips and tricks for uh, the Walking Dead game. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this.